a day. Welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. We got Return to Zork. I normally don't collect uh, box games. Uh, I had found a whole stash of like advanced D&D, D&D games. A lot of them were missing the manuals, missing the maps, which makes them kind of fun. But I saw the word Zork, had to have it. I remember on the Commerce 64 playing Zork 1, 2, 3, Lither Gods, Lither Gods Phobos, the Dragon's Galaxy, I think there was Sorcerer or something. Uh, they're all Infocom games. This is Infocom, an Activision company, so probably not the same Infocom as before. But this is pretty darn cool. Uh, it's kind of Zork with graphics. So uh, kind of fun game. I'm going to put like a little gameplay up here. So you kind of see, this is really not about the game gameplay, more about what's in the cool box. Uh, I remember like these boxes, you know, when you bought a game, this was like pre-internet. Uh, you either got a magazine or you saw an ad or you went to the store and picked up the box and looked at the pictures, read the box and decided, hey, I'm going to play this game. That's how you did it. Because there was no internet, you know, so if you got the, your, you know, like your run magazine or whatever magazine you had for your system, because it came on the Atari uh the 800s, the Commodore, I think what else was it? I think Tandy had some Zorks, but not so much this one. I, this, is, this is for the IBM, so. But you can kind of see it's got some neat pictures, it has a story, and it says Return to Zork, a mesmerizing interactive adventure of danger, intrigue, and cunning. I like the word cunning. Explore the most amazing territory ever seen. Face one fascinating puzzle after another. So that's what Zork was. It's a text game, you go, you go north, south, east, west, you know, Look at the pen, pick up the pen, you know, that kind of stuff. And that's kind of what this this is, except in graphic version. So I think it lost some of the fun, because you know you're using your imagination when you played the game. Plays, played these games. What I want to do, do today is just look at the box, the goodies inside the box, because, you know, you get a game now, you get a couple little things. But what you got in a big box game like this, especially like Ultimas and stuff like that, you get a lot of goodies. So, and this is kind of a cool box. Check this out. Huh? That's pretty slick, ain't it? And you can see here's give a uh, it was once believed that evil magic had been defeated and cast from the hand, the lands forever. That once great underground empire had collapsed, never to rise again. This was foolish. We shall think in prayers of the innocent and naive. Evil magic cannot die. It waits. It waits for the precise moment in time to regroup and return to claim its dominance in the dark race recess of every shadow, in the horror of terrifying nightmare, in the echo of every painful shriek. These these are the way. Stations for the dark elements. Now is the moment of their return. Return to Zark. So that's the box. And here's what's in the box. A lot of goodies in here. I'm going to put them off the side so you don't, get, don't spoil it. Did I get them all? I got them all. You got, let's see, game catalog. Through so advertiser Return to Zork. Uh, Simon the Sorcerer. I don't remember this one. Here's Predator for the Super Nintendo. So you can kind of see they're kind of showing off some lots of Super Nintendo stuff. There's Mech Warrior. I remember playing this game. Uh, Biometal. Shanghai. There's some Game Boy games. Oh, Popeye! Activision games. Kids. Sports games. Some different different games in here. So it kind of give you like a neat little catalog. And then, oh, here's some more. Want some hints? To save money? Of course you do. Look inside. Oh, let's see. Oh, here you go. Here's where you can get some hints and stuff like that. Uh, of course, you call the Activision Hint Line, so you call this this one this one nine hundred number, one nine hundred number. So you got to pay. Uh, let's see, in Australia, twenty one cents, twenty four seconds per twenty five cent phone. Australia uh, calls are ninety five ninety five cents per minute. Charges begin after the first ten seconds, eighteen seconds. So you you're paying. But, you know, if you got stuck in these games, sometimes that's what you do. Here, here's for Leather Gauss Phobos. Uh, text Adventure. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, here's Lost Treasures of Infocom. Zork 1, 2, 3. Oh, Beyond Zork. Zork 0. Sorcerer Enchanter. Deadline. Oh, Deadline. I remember playing that. Uh, Spellbreaker. I've been that. Infidel. Chuck has got the Gauss. Played that. I got pretty close to the end on that one. Uh, Starcross. Planet Fall. I remember that one. Uh, the Lurking Horror. And these are all just the text adventures. So that's pretty cool. Here's number two. Yeah, return to Zork, the Zork official guide. So you kind of get an idea about that. And of course, got some comments. And then return to Zork. Here's how to floppy disk install. Tells you how to install it. 
It's not a floppy disk, though. And then, of course, here's a sweepstakes winner. So this is actually, oh, what's this? You don't throw this out. You open it up because it says adventure. And this, when you open it up, shows that you won. And this is all part of the game. Uh, congratulations to the Grand Prize winner in ITNL's Vacation Sweepstakes. And you can see you take advantage of all the fun-filled activities, boating, sightseeing, exploring, nightlife. Uh, be one of the first to walk among the ruins of the Lost Underground Empire Zork. See for yourself. So this is kind of how the game starts. You won the contest, and you're starting your adventure. So that's pretty cool. They give you like something like that. So you, you see you got, you got a lot of goodies in this thing. And here's the whoop, Encyclopedia for Obizuka. So you got books, you got all kinds of neat stuff, and you actually need to read this stuff. So you got to kind of understand. Uh, it gives you kind of like uh, it tells you what all the places are, what things are. So what a frost ham is. And here's appendixes, magic. So it's pretty cool. You know, you got to actually got books. So like I said, this is something you probably want to read through, at least kind of glance through. It's kind of it's, it's a really good read. It's kind of interesting. Could tell gives you some history of Zork and stuff like that. And here's I think the absolute best thing. The hint book. Return to Zork. The hint book. So if you got stuck somewhere, I know it's kind of cheating. But you know, sometimes these games are pretty tough. And if you got really bad stuck, I mean like really bad, you can pull this out and say, uh, I'm in the underground level. How do I get the sword? And a token from Mudok. So I won't give you all the hints, but you know, can you imagine a hint book now? But now you know, they give you a hint book. So I guess if you wanted to, if you just really wanted to win the game and cheat, follow the book. Uh, let's see. Here it says, can't get to the Pesca Vulture. Can't find the island. Can't get past the Hillhound. Got a good place to hide in this book. Of course you do. And see, this was. Ten bucks. We bought the separate because you can go like the bookstores and buy these buy these things, just to cheat. And then of course, this one's on CD-ROM. And this one you actually need a DOS computer to play it, or use DOSBox, something like that. I might use a DOSBox to play it because uh, if you got Windows 10, you're not going to install it, or at least not very easily. And often on a CD-ROM, there's a lot of data on here. It looks like it's pretty full, so I think it's pretty big. But and I got this game for I think I can't remember. Does it got the sticker on it? couple bucks I figure you know what complete in box and it's in fairly decent condition so somebody took all their games got rid of them all of them like I said there were a bunch of AD and D and they all look cool but like some were missing maps but this one looks pretty darn complete you know you get the encyclopedia the cheat book cheat books the disc all the little goodies inside it you really can't go wrong That's kind of a blast from the past you don't see games like this anymore you don't see where you get a big box with all kinds of neat stuff in it and uh, kind of brings back a lot of good memories, especially the original Zorks, but really going to enjoy this game. I played just a little bit, um, just to get installed and play it, but I'm going to play a little bit more because, uh, you know, it's not, you know, if you used to play in like uh, Xbox and PlayStation, you kind of be a little disappointed, but still it's kind of retro, kind of fun, still kind of cool. You know, the graphics aren't, you know, there for the time. What kind of, I can't remember what year this was. This came out in... Uh, how's it say? Okay, see there's the Macintosh screenshots. I don't remember what year this was. It's got to say it here somewhere. Let's see, maybe the hint book's got it. 1993, so it's kind of a while ago, but pretty darn cool. You know, so, yeah, don't be afraid to pick up box games. You're gonna, like I said, you're going to have a hard time installing it unless you use uh, DOSBox or something, especially older stuff like this, but definitely a pretty cool game. So, there you go. That is the boxed. Return to Zork. Hope you enjoy the video, and you, that's you, have a great day.